for those of you with the super secret decoder ring, we're going to walk through a special method of testing this DC motor, see if the armature has any contamination issues, a one-shot deal where I don't have to compare it or trend. So for this case, I'm going to go to my DC. This is a shunt-wound machine. But what I want to do is I want to do something a little bit different. Now this gives me some options we discussed in the first video. Uh, what I want to do though is come up to my shunt dual voltage at the motor. Now, it's going to ask me to do my capacitance test. Yes, I want to do that. So I press over to capacitance test, I press OK. Okay, it's going to tell me to connect to the field coil. This is where I'm going to start changing things. I'm not going to test the field coil, I'm going to test the armature. So the first thing I want to do is connect the blue to the armature, not the field. And I want to test the, check the yellow to ground. I'm going to press OK, and I'm going to allow it to run the test. The reason I'm doing this is the primary area for contamination in a machine like this is actually in the armature. So I take that reading. You notice this is going to be a little different than the fields. I press OK to continue. Then ask me to do the insulation resistance test. Now remember, in each step, I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to go armature is fields and fields is armature. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and do this test. Press OK. Connect the blue clip to the field coil and yellow to ground. So I'm testing check to the armature. Press OK and then press and hold down test. We're gig ohm. Press OK. Then it says connect the blue clip to armature, which means field. And press OK. There's my test. Done. Press OK. Then it tells me to connect the blue and the yellow. between the armature and field. So I press OK, and I go ahead and perform that test as well. Press OK again. Now it says, uh, it gives me my readings. Press OK to continue. Now here's where we have some fun. So it wants me to test to the fields. It wants me to test the fields. So it's going to ask me to test two field tests. I want to do two armature tests. That's why we switch. So I'm going to test a blue and a red to the field, but to the armature. Red to the armature, press OK, and allow it to run the static test. Okay, so the first one. So I press OK to continue. It asked me to connect to the other one. So I just let it run. So now I've done field one and field two, but actually it's on the armature. I keep it in the same spot twice. It's very, very important. Okay. DC test three, blue and red to the armature circuit. So in this case, I'm going to instead connect to the fields. Press OK to continue and allow it to run the test. And I can trend this test. Or I can switch over to coils and do individual coils inside the, ma inside the machine. Now this test normally compares half the field circuit and half the field circuit. Field circuit testing is important because the second largest number of failures is usually the, insula the um, insulation between conductors and the fields failing over time. Okay, static test done, press OK. Save it and do that quick save again. D E M underscore D C. I want to change it over and call this DC2. Next, saved. Press OK to return. Now let's take a look at our test results. I can put all the nameplate data up separately. So let's uh, get up here. 
and we're going to look at resistance. Press OK. Now the resistance between DC1 and DC2 should be very close. If I had contamination, those readings would start to change. Contamination. Now I can trend this. I can take a look at it. Insulation resistance, we saw that before. Phase angle. Here's another one. Should be basically the same test result. If the test results vary between DC1 and DC2, I have excessive contamination and the potential breakdown of the armature circuit, including some overheating. Press OK. Same thing with IF. Press OK. Same thing with impedance. Press OK. And same thing uh, with inductance. And that's it. That's the super secret uh, testing that you can do with the Altest 5 to check your uh, armature out without having to disassemble the machine. This works on any size DC machine. And with that, later we'll show you what uh, it looks like when we upload it to the software.